Week again, we were talking about SummerSlam 2020. It's going to be taking place in the WWE Thunderdome. And I want to pull up the card here. Here it is right now. Um, what stands out to you, Book? What match are you most looking forward to on the eight announced matches that we have for this Sunday's SummerSlam? The, the one I'm most interested in, you know, believe it or not, is uh, Dominic versus Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why, I, I just want to see. I want to see this kid finally perform. I want to see exactly what he what he's got because I know I was one of the people that wanted to work with Dominic. I mean, I know he's supposed to come through reality of wrestling. I don't know what happens, you know, but um, things happen. Um, and I didn't I didn't get a chance to you know get my hands on him or anything like that. Uh, just to work with him to you know give him certain little bitty you know um, certain certain little points as far as how to go out there and make yourself look and feel more like a star um when you're performing uh, as well as you know how how do you make the feel how do how do you um make the fans feel a certain way when when you want them to you know um you know what what kind of emotion are, are you working on it's, that's that's what I like to work with when I when I get a, a young guy like uh a Dominic and and I know he's had good training I do know that but but I I I want to see this kid get in the ring and show me something I remember um, uh, one of my kids named uh, by, the, by the name of Gustavo Mendoza. Um, he, he didn't look like he was going to be the best worker or anything like that. Um, he sat on the sideline for a long time. And then when Gustavo finally got his chance, he showed me something. And he stayed in the ring from that day forward. And he became reality of wrestling champ for a full year straight. Um, nobody can beat him just because his psychology and his mindset was so well far beyond most of the guys that were in the locker room. So that's what I want to see from Dominic, even though still being a young kid, he can go out there and show me some little bitty traits that going to tell me this kid is going to be just as good or better than the old man. So that's what I'm going to be looking for in this pay-per-view more than anything. You know, I was thinking about this and Dominic, there have been people who've made their debuts in WWE in the ring on a big platform. Um, some of the notable ones to me, like recently, remember we didn't see Fandango at all. And then he, he has a match with Jericho at WrestleMania, but at still, you know, Fandango had been around for a minute. He'd been working, you know, as, under different names and on SmackDown velocity, whatever. I can't remember a guy who was coming in, who wasn't a, a, a famous person prior. You know, we're not talking about Tyson Fury or, or, or Kane Velasquez or anybody like that who wasn't famous prior in a different sport or, 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 you know, entertainment field, who's coming into WWE and having his first match against a top guy who's a former champion at the second biggest event of the year. I don't, I don't think that's ever happened before. And for Dominic, do you think that he is feeling just a massive amount of pressure to go out there and perform in his first match? Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's something that he's going to be thinking about. It's something that's in his head right now, knowing that, man, I'm going to go out here and make my, you know, worldwide um, television debut in front of the world. Um, couldn't have a better person in the ring um, working with, I think, other than Seth, than Seth Rollins. Um, I know Seth knows his job, but um, this is going to be one of those things to where this kid's got to go out there and perform. And and, and the thing is, he's, he's going to be performing um, without a net. Um, like this is not a tape show or anything like that. And, and right. that, there is a whole lot of pressure. And I say that because, you know, I'm a guy that's been in the business many, many years and, and a guy that had been in the business many years when I um, had to do Monday Night Raw live television um, or Monday Night Nitro live television. The pressure that that I mean, for Nitro was one thing. All I had to do was wrestle. But when I came to WWE Monday Night Nitro. I have to entertain and wrestle, and that's what Dominic is right now. He's going to have to go out in that ring, and of course, the wrestling has to be there. But he he's going to have to learn how to entertain very very quickly. And um, this is no um, uh, rehearsal or anything like that. This no. is the real deal, and I'm I'm looking to see exactly how far Dominic Mysterio has come over these last couple of years. It's just as far as um, being able to go out there in the ring and and be able to, being able to manage. I'm not I'm not looking for 
Dominic to be a general in the ring or anything like that, but he definitely have to be a private first class in order to be able to understand um, what's going on. I, I think that you 100% summed it up perfect there because I don't think that there's any other art form out there that doesn't have a proper rehearsal before a big show, right? You might talk through what you're going to do tonight, but you're not going to go out there and do the match 100% all the way through full contact and then go out there and do it a second time. You got one shot. Even Saturday Night Live, they have a full dress rehearsal with an audience before they go live, and they cut stuff out and change things last minute. I, I can't even imagine. And I'm not trying to add any pressure to Dominic. I'm sure he's got a lot. But just the pressure to perform. Um, and like you said, he got Seth out there, but I cannot even imagine, uh, that being the first place that you are seen on a grand scale. Now he has been on raw as of late. And I can tell you, man, they put some good lashings on that boy. Did you see his, uh, back and chest? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome yeah. to the business, Dominic. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. He said, I'm dying. Hard. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what Bruce Willis said. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, it, was a, it was an initiation, you know what I mean? It was like getting it, been in the game. He got jumped in, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, he had all the uh, bumps and bruises to show for it. But uh, the kid went out there and he took it like a man. Um, that right there lets me know a little bit of something about Dominic. It let me know that, man, he's willing to, you know, take his um, – take his bumps, you know, to, to be a part of the game, you know, that's, that's, and, and, you know, that, I'm saying that, you know, cliche, uh, you know, being in a gang and taking his bumps, you know, getting jumped in, but it is kind of like that, you know, um, this is not ballet. Um, and for someone who saw the uh, beating of Dominic and think that this is, you know, some fake sport and that they can go out there and do the same thing. All you got to do is try it at home. No, but don't try it at all. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely don't. Definitely don't that. Now, the last time, I could be wrong, but the last time that we saw uh, Dominic Mysterio at SummerSlam, do you know when that was, Book? No. So this was the last time that we saw Dominic Mysterio at SummerSlam in WWE. The custody of Dominic ladder match that happened at SummerSlam, I believe, 05 between Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. Look at Dominic there. And uh, 15 years later, he's going to be taking on Seth Rollins. That was the last time we saw Dominic at Summer Man, Man. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, like I say, this kid, is um, he's in a hell of a position. Um, he's, he's got huge um, footsteps to, uh, to, to, to follow. Uh, and that right there is definitely something I know he's willing and up to the job to go out there and try to be able to pull off because as a kid – you know, this is not not anything new to uh, Dominic or anything like that. But but as far as um, trying to live up to that legacy of his dad, I'm sure that's something that's going to always be in the back of his mind. But there yeah. again, you, you look at this this photo 15 years ago. Uh, I always I always say something. You know, preparation is the only luck you're ever going to have. And this kid has been preparing for this moment for a very very long time. I remember my first pay per view myself being a green kid only two years into the business and Dominic been around it a whole lot longer than, than I have two years into the business. I was making my, my walk here in Houston, Texas and, and war games in the main event with, you know, uh, Sid vicious and big Van Vader and the big Van Vader. He asked me the same question that a lot of people are going to be asking Dominic. Uh, and that question was, uh, do you really think that you're ready for this moment? And my, my, my answer to big Van Vader then was, man, I've been preparing for this for the last two years. Of course I'm ready. And, um, I went out on that night and proved that I was ready to be in that, that position. And, and I'm sure Dominic is, you know, no different. I'm sure he's been preparing, um, you know, highly anticipating um, this moment right here that's to come. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, this kid go out and do, do, do well.